Ciao, buongiorno, uh, it's Marisa Roll and welcome back to Tales from Tuscany. It's so good to be back after a hiatus. Um, David and I were both unwell for quite a while and I'm so sorry that we've been so absent, but we're back again and hitting the ground running and in massive preparation now for Kiani because today is just 48 days before our departure. So you can just imagine the excitement we're feeling each day that approaches just that little step closer to being sitting under the Tuscan sun, rather than being here in Sydney on a wet, cold, 13 degree winter day, but that's just the way it is. And it gives me the opportunity to do lots and lots of things, get prepared. I'm going to be sharing today um, some nice little things just from David's birthday last week, which hopefully for all of you that don't live here in Australia, that don't know Sydney, I like to share some things that we do here as well, because I think, well, you know, everybody around the world, we're not all living in the same place. So therefore, even though my story is about going to Italy, um, Sydney is a beautiful city too. So we'll share a little bit of that. And then I'll share a little bit about a catch up with some of our shopping and the things that I've been doing. So it's just a run up, I suppose, to what's going to happen when we get there, which we are so excited. You can just imagine it doesn't seem real. But in the meantime, I just wanted to send out a massive, massive thank you from both of us to all of you, to our new subscribers that have joined us just in the last few weeks, even when I haven't been producing vlogs, to anyone else that encourages us, that writes beautiful comments, that leaves us likes. Um, it just means so much to us, honestly, the encouragement and support when you're doing something that is really quite odd in many ways. I've had other homes in different countries. I've never bought one this way and I've never tried to decorate it from the other side of the planet either. So you can just imagine it's quite a challenge, but we're up for the challenge and I find it really exciting and invigorating in many ways. And it really makes you use your mind and research and all the things I really love to do. So. You'll get to know me a little bit more as time goes along, but they're the kind of things that really, really stimulate me. So with no further ado, let's share a little bit of fun from David's birthday and then a little bit of shopping and I'll catch up with you in between. Ciao, bye. Gelato, darling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means it's good. Yeah. Shock. 
we couldn't possibly stay in a room like this with a bath like this and not have a beautiful bubble bath. <laughs> so I used, oh, those funny lights, they flare, don't they? I used some lovely bubble bath and shower gel, actually. And before dinner, we're going to, hello. That's funny, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. We're going to have a relaxing bath. Buongiorno. Buongiorno, amore. Is it relaxing? Mm. Beautiful. It's a glass. It is beautiful. <sighs> a lovely bath. Nothing better. Mm -hmm. Schiacciata. Schiacciata is a uh, crushed garlic and rosemary on the pizza bread. È delizioso. Bravo, bravo. Buon appetito. <laughs> allora io ho delle gnocchi con tartufi, mamma mia fresh truffles which is in season here in Australia and David has and we're going to share because he has to share with me David has the most beautiful duck tortellini with tartufi fresi yeah fresh truffles duck tortellini mamma mia che buono mangiamo David mangia 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 Thank you very much. Aww. Thank you. You ready? Yes, darling. Oh, congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Hello, monsieur. Just checking out the pool. In swimming, even in winter, it's heated. A bit breezy, it's only 10 degrees here this morning, but the water's warm and lovely view of the city as well. But now it's time for us to leave. Ciao for now. whispering in my ear darling I can't tell you what he's saying <laughs> so sweetheart mm. have you had a lovely little birthday getaway oh, awesome little getaway perfect it was awesome wasn't absolutely it absolutely perfect yeah, yeah. Mm. but now we're counting down just over mm. seven weeks to go until we leave for our new home fantastic mm. That's yeah. pretty darn exciting, isn't it? Yes. Yes, we're, we are a lot more excited yeah. than we look right now. I think we're just a bit tired for a, from a big night out. <laughs> but look where we are. It's just so yeah. beautiful. Yeah. And the sun has come out just oh, yeah. for us today. A rare today. blue sky day in a Sydney. A rare blue sky. So, yeah. You're so right. It's just been such awful weather in Sydney for months. So mm. we are just standing here. I found this little path and thought, let's just capture a little bit of the vitamin D that we're missing at the moment. So yeah. it's glorious. So you can 
can just imagine shopping from the other side of the world is quite challenging, but thanks to the internet, thanks to other bloggers, and people that are going through similar processes to us, I've learned so much and I've researched so much that now I'm managing to purchase things in advance for the house by looking at floor plans, by watching videos back over, by looking at our photographs. And because I actually have done up so many homes of my own and, and helped other people over the years, both in Australia and in Italy and France, I do have a fairly good idea of visualizing things, of imagining how it might be. And I just cross my fingers and hope I put it right. But hey, like I said to a friend the other day, I bought a house that I never visited. So what's some furniture? Honestly, I can't go that much wrong, can I? <laughs> if I was going to go wrong, I would have already gone wrong buying the house. So therefore, the furniture is um, just by the by. I'm really not worried about it. But because we want to have some things in the house as soon as we get there, you'll see in the following little clips that I put together for you that I have started to purchase some of the more major items because because of different things that are happening in the world. There's long delays on getting things. Um, I had heard from friends. They would tell me in Italy, please make your um, purchases in advance because sometimes they'll tell you that something's available and then you'll find out it's actually not going to come for another two months. So I've really been looking into that and decided, okay, now is the moment to do that. So you'll see some things today that we have already chosen and decided to go ahead with and I purchased them. I actually purchased them this morning, this very day. So they're going to be on our way, on their way to us, I should say, on um, the first week that we get there. So within a couple of days, hopefully, of our arrival. So we'll have our major things in our house so we can get comfortable and then it'll be the fun thing of lots of trips to flea markets to mercatini to furniture stores to um antiques markets whatever we can find that's going on while we're there honestly we'll be hitting the ground we'll be doing all of tuscany and beyond i think looking for things but that's part of the fun of it so what you'll see now is what we already have and then everything else will complement. But it's going to be so much fun taking you with us when we start hitting all of those lovely flea markets and antique stores and recuperando, all those wonderful things, um, architectural recoup places um, where they sell you know, old gates and all sorts of things. We have so many things that we'd like to add to the house, obviously, to bring back that old, that ancient spirit that has been probably lacking in the house since it was restored. So there, we're going to bring in the old, some of the new, and, and hopefully it all mixes together and marries together beautifully. I really think it will. So enjoy, and again, thanks for being here.